greeting followers and viewers and people who doesn't have much but anything better to do you're on Israel as you Victor here and today we're going to talk about a very touchy subject United States Afghanistan but I want to put them in perspective also just because I came from post-Soviet Union I want to compare the Soviet Union invasion of Afghanistan versus United States uh, in Afghanistan gonna go by true facts and you know since and also some of you gonna say who I am you know to even talk about this actually you know what first of all I'm a citizen I'm a taxpayer and I'm a patriot of United States so yeah I I can talk about this stuff also I was in service back in Soviet Union actually it was uh, I joined the serv service in Soviet Union and by the time when I got discharged it was no Soviet Union. So here we go, United States won, Soviet Union collapse. Now let's get back to the, uh, Afghanistan, United States and Soviet Union. So we have the situation right now when United States said we have another victory, great victory, one of the greatest victory in the history of the United States. We won in Afghanistan. In my opinion, it's absolute bullshit. We not only did not won in Afghanistan, I think some of the countries, they probably going to have a hard time to deal with the United States. And I'm talking about countries who is, you know, we're, it's like when you talk politics, you know, it is a country or nations, they're trying to decide, uh, should we go, you know, after the United States and democracy and be, you know, the greatest nation in the world, or should we, you know, stick with Russians, Chinese, you know, and all this stuff. So now it's going to be a lot more complicated because of the president, uh, because of what we, unfortunately, have done in Afghanistan, and not even what we have done, uh, how we left. Number one, United States in Afghanistan. Uh, according to uh, Forbes, everybody knows forts war in afghanistan cost the united states about 300 million dollars a day for 20 years so it's a 700 billion dollars average i mean plus minus take soviet union soviet union uh, was in afghanistan for about 10 years and it cost even with the inflation two billion dollars so 700 billion two billion dollars and hold on a second because uh, it's very, like, again, I, <laughs> actually, I'm going to just take the seat. It's going to be much more. So, <laughs> let's get back to facts. Uh, United States, 20 years, $700 billion. Soviet Union, 10 years, $2 billion. Wow, that's a lot of money. Well, Soviet Union, they came, uh, they invade Afghanistan. Everybody knows this fact. If people who doesn't know, they should, they want to end, you know, the communism around them. So they want to make sure, you know, the Afghani uh, people, they're going to be, you know, they're going to love communism regime. Stuff. Well, they failed. Obviously, they got thrown out. But the way how they left Afghanistan, I'm talking about Soviet Union. 
It was a long negotiation between, between the government and actually Taliban, because the Taliban kicked uh, Soviets out of the United States, same as they did with uh, United States. So it was Taliban, the government and Soviet Union. Took Russians uh, half a year to do the planning, strategically leaving the country, uh, withdrawing the, every single soldier, uh, everybody who was supporting the regime, uh, obviously when the, United, the Soviet Union was in Afghanistan, they did not leave any uh, weapon, any tanks, any, any helicopters for rebels. They left uh, for a government and government sustained for another what two to three years after the Soviet left Afghanistan. Let's look at look at what we have right now. Well, uh, everybody knows uh, previous administration negotiated the deal with uh, Taliban's last year and uh, this year we know we're going to withdraw the troops from Afghanistan. However, the way how we did this stuff that's just a disaster. We decide to leave and the government collapsed even before we left the country. G guys, just think about this fact. While we're still in Afghanistan, the Taliban already took over the country. And I'm not judging, again, I'm not judging the Taliban or anybody else. I'm just giving you exactly what happened. And if probably you guys follow the news and reading the newspaper, how much weapon we left over there? Well, it's a lot. It's a lot and right now nobody knows where this weapon is going to fire and most importantly at who this weapon is going to fire. It's not necessarily going to be used by Taliban. Maybe they're going to resell it. You don't know. But as the citizen of the United States and as a patriot of this country, I am deeply sad, if not, if, if not more, and also I, I'm speechless. I'm quite frankly, I'm just speechless with what we have done, not even to the you know, people of the Afghanistan. Why? I can't process. I, it's, what, it's already May. I'm sorry. It's uh, what is September 5th today. Everybody's got their Labor Day weekend. But in the back of my mind, it's still how and why, and like again. As I said it before in the previous episodes, I am the patriot of the United States. Who was, yes, I was born in the Soviet Union. I immigrated to this country and I love this country. And I will love this country to the bottom of my heart for multiple reasons. Uh, it did, this country gave me everything. I believe in this country and I truly believe it's the grand, greatest country in the face of Earth. But what is going on right now, I have no idea. I feel bad, first of all, and it's probably most important for our troops. I was in service, and uh, in service, uh, it doesn't really matter which side you are, but when, I don't know how to explain, and I'm not sure if everybody will understood what I was trying to say, but when you're a soldier and uh, you're at war, Yes, you have the enemy, but enemy, it's still a soldier. And soldiers, they have a very unique thing which nobody else has. It. They support each other even uh, if you're, you know, on the opposite side of the line. So I feel bad. I really feel bad because the, these veterans, and they are veterans right now, they're heroes. As usually, most of them, they're going to be left on their own. They're not going to have any support. I mean, yeah, you guys are going to watch TV and people are going to say, yeah, we're supporting the veterans. No, support the veterans here. What government going to do? Probably going to wash their hands again. It, it's, it's sad. And once again, we're speaking about comparing the, how Soviet left Afghanistan versus how United States left Afghanistan. And we can see the pattern. It was not organized, it was disaster, and it was disgrace for a country, for our country, where we live, and country which we love. So, once again, you're on As Real As You, and it's Victor. Please subscribe, or in case, if you hate what you just heard, unsubscribe, and peace.